in this video, you'll see how I'm gonna take this and turn it into this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before I show you that, I realized after the project was done, I got a little ahead of myself. Turns out there's more than training to a, training a dog to a cart than just hooking them up and going. So I need to go ahead and back up just a little bit and show you how I'm gonna train Junebug to pull the cart. But don't worry, I'll show you how I made the cart and how beautiful it is and how Junebug does with it. First step is getting the harness on. Yes. So as per some other videos that I saw, I'm gonna go ahead and use some clips to the harness that I have and just get a rope and something tied to her. In the videos I saw, they recommended just dragging chains. But here in the snow, my husband said, I don't know if I want you to drag my chains through the snow. Fair point, rust. So I'm gonna look around for something I can hook up to her while we do some training. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by having her tied up to some buckets here. I got them hooked up to the clips that I'm planning on using on the cart, and we'll see how she does. Jim bug. Good girl, Good girl. Good girl. might be a little too easy. I think I might try to find something a little heavier. All right, so we just took a family walk and I got her hooked up to this five gallon bucket, empty, and just got her used to that. And then on the way home, I realized that if I put stuff into the five gallon bucket and close it with a lid, she can practice with different weights. So we just took a, f a walk to a friend's house and I put one brick in it and then two bricks. And so this is gonna be her pulling two bricks. All right, and now that training is done for the day, I'm gonna go ahead and let her go and she can rest. this yeah you hey if you like this video could you just go ahead and give it a like down below that'd be great thanks I was just gonna call her to go do some work for me practice pulling again and she just came running good girl it's on a little break here in between my classes and we're gonna go ahead and walk to the mailbox and this time we're gonna go ahead and do three bricks see how she does And on the way back, I might go ahead and put a fourth one in. See how that goes. Jimba, come. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She's definitely getting the hang of it. She did three bricks really well, walking down to cross the creek and check the mail. Four bricks on the way back, she was not very excited about. And she was just kind of done after a little bit. So I was kind of giving her some corrective tugs, not being mean, but just trying to tell her, hey, this is what we're doing right now. And she was just kind of worn out, so. I didn't want to push it too hard, but she's still got some good practice. And hopefully the cart will be even easier for her to pull since it's on wheels. There it is. 